Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And our channel is all about the food. We do taste tests, recipes, grocery hauls, and of course, what's for dinner. And we are continuing with our pantry and freezer challenge. Um, and so let me show you what we're having for dinner tonight. So in our freezer, we had some tilapia from Trader Joe's, and here is the packaging for that. It came with two pieces of fish. Now, Howard and I are not big fish people, but you know, trying to do better, trying to eat better. So I just sauteed this um, with some seasoning and garlic butter. And then we are also having some um, macaroni and cheese from Walmart. It is their artisan crafted, five cheese, or excuse me, Italian five cheese, and Howard and I tasted it just now, and it was pretty good. And then I just had some fresh broccoli in our fridge, and so I just sauteed this in some sesame oil and some seasonings, and so I'm trying to eat pretty healthy tonight with the exception of the mac and cheese, but this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having another meal from our freezer, pantry, and fridge. So let me show you what I used. So we had some crescent rolls in the fridge that I needed to use um, from Pillsbury. So we're having that. And then I made kind of like a, a ziti casserole um, with stuff that we had in our freezer and fridge. So let me show you. I had some sweet Italian sausage in my freezer that I needed to use up. And then in from the pantry, I had two cans of uh, tomatoes, one diced and one stewed. From the freezer, I had some cheese that I needed to use up, uh, mozzarella, um, shredded mozzarella and provolone, and then um, mozzarella slices. And then from the pantry, um, I had a half a box of penne left over, so I wanted to use that. So used up a bunch of stuff from our freezer, pantry, and fridge today. Here is what the casserole looks like. Um, all I did was brown the Italian sausage. I added in the tomatoes and the penne after I'd cooked it, and then I just kind of layered it in the casserole dish and I baked it. I did kind of bake it a little bit too much. The cheese got a little bit too brown, but it's still good. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having a, another meal from our freezer and pantry. Um, I had this, or I made this, I guess I should say, probably about a month ago, and I will make sure to link that video in the description box. This is five minute wonton soup, and so let me show you what I used. So from our pantry, I used this pho broth. I got this from Aldi a while back ago. The last time I made this soup, I had a ramen broth, and so um, so this is what we had left in the pantry to use, so this is what I used. And then um, I used the other half of these chicken cilantro mini wontons that I picked up from Trader Joe's. This is also what I used in the last recipe as well. So I used half a bag last time and the other half this time. And then what I did have to pick up from the store in order to make the recipe, was some spinach, and so I, fresh spinach, baby spinach. And so I didn't wanna buy a whole container or a whole bag, I guess I should say, or a box of um, um, baby spinach. So what I did was went to the grocery store that has a salad bar and they have baby spinach on the salad bar. So I just got a small portion of the baby spinach. So that's a tip that I'd like to leave you guys with. If you're ever making a recipe and you just need a little bit of something, like a little bit of mushrooms or just a little bit of broccoli, the salad bar is a great way to go. So grab some fresh spinach from the salad bar. And then I also needed some mushrooms for this recipe as well. So I picked up a jar of mushrooms for the recipe and then everything else I had at home. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard and I are having leftover ziti from the other night. And so, you know, if you've been watching our channel for a while, I typically don't show leftovers unless I'm doing something a little bit different. But I did want to show you what I made for dessert tonight. Um, so you guys know, still working on the pantry, of course. And this is something that I had in my pantry from the fall. 
This is from Trader Joe's and it is their maple pecan shortbread bar mix. Really easy instructions. Let me see if I can flip the box and show you guys the instructions. So for the crust, all you need is butter. And then for the filling part, all you need is an egg, butter, and water. So this box came with two packages in it. One package was for the crust and one package was for the filling mix. The filling mix was dry, but it was a mixture of pecans and looked like brown sugar and some other stuff. So pretty simple. And you make the dessert in an eight by eight pan. And here's what they look like. And I will say that Howard is not a huge pecan fan, but I am, and even he said these were really good. So let me see if I can get a close up for you. So on the bottom um, is the buttery crust and it's really good. It's kind of like a shortbread crust, but it's, it's pretty sweet and it's very tasty. We both really like that. And then as you can see, the middle portion is kind of like the pecan filling. So it, it's kind of reminiscent of a pecan pie, but the, pill, the filling is a lot thicker. And then you've got the pecans on top. But the way that it works is you um, bake the, um, the crust first, then you let it cool, and then you put the pecan topping on top, and then it kind of separates itself. So it separated itself and the pecans kind of rose to the top and the filling is there in the middle. So anyway, um, again, we're having leftover baked ziti for dinner, but this is what we are having for dessert. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having these smoked sausage links from our freezer. Howard threw them on the grill, so we're having that. And we are also having some um, spicy nacho Doritos right here. So I did have to go to the store and get some hot dog buns and then we didn't have any chips. So I picked up some chips as well, but the smoked sausage links are from our freezer. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.